uh, we have fifth generation, sixth generation, all of that we have discussed, uh, engines and all that. What is happening to India's uh, fifth generation uh, uh, fighter aircraft program, sir? Because uh, oh, AMCA के बारे में हम लोग बात करते हैं पंद्रह सौ करोड़ सरकार ने दिए थे विच इज ऑनेस्टली स्पीकिंग पी नट सर फॉर फिफ्थ जनरेशन वो दे वॉन्ट इवन नो वेर इट वेंट सर फिफ्टी हंड्रेड करोड़ नथिंग सर दे शोड वेन यू वन और टू बिलियन डॉलर्स दैट बी कम्फर्टेबल एंड नाउ डू इट पीपल आर सेंग दैट दे विल टेक फोर टू सिक्स ईयर्स टू गेट द इंडियन एयरफोर्स एंड प्लीज करेक्ट मी सर इफ आई एम रॉन्ग बट दिस इज माई अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट दैट दे टेक फोर टू सिक्स ईयर्स और फोर टू फाइव ईयर्स to get a prototype to the indian air force now the indian air force is going to see that prototype and say that okay i don't like this i like this change this that's going to happen sir and the indian air force being the indian air force they're going to be regress they're going to take it down and say ki boss ye hame nahi pasand hai ye pasand hai isko aise karo aise karo apni jo capabilities unko chahiye for war fighting purposes my question here is sir that uh, is it not easier kyunki 4 5 saal aapke isme nikal gaye sir or the chinese are working overtime today they don't have an engine maybe tomorrow they will so the way they are working and the kind of money that they are spending so or phir uske baad 10 saal aapko lagne hai sir apne fifth generation ka fighter aircraft agar nikalta hai if the air force give, because finally sir the indian air force has to green light the project and say that okay now we are good go uske bina to nahi hoga and given our track record of production of aircrafts earlier and also the engine for that sir अब तो इंजन तेजस का नहीं है देर इज नो गारंटी कि उसका उसमें भी सप्लाई लाइंस का इशू है सो माय क्वेश्चन हियर सिंपल सर वुड इट नॉट बी प्रूडेंट सीइंग दैट वी हैव अ टू फ्रंट थ्रेट डायरेक्टली विद पाकिस्तान आल्सो ट्राइंग टू बाय समथिंग ऑफ दैट नेचर ऑफ फिफ्थ जनरेशन फाइटर एयरक्राफ्ट फ्रॉम चाइना विच वी बीन हियरिंग इन द मीडिया वुड इट नॉट बी प्रूडेंट टू बाय अ कपल ऑफ स्क्वाड ऑफ फिफ्थ जनरेशन फाइटर एयरक्राफ्ट और दैट केपेबिलिटी ऑफ द शेल्फ एंड से दैट ओके यू डू योर डेवलपमेंट बट seeing the previous track record we can't endlessly wait sir oh because uh, squadron strength is depleting and all of that is it possible we buy something off the shelf or no you're saying no nahi hona chahiye first i'll just um, amka ke liye the government has given 18000 uh, 15000 crores which is equal to 1.8 billion dollars now i'll just give a small little comparison uh, f22 took 30 billion dollars for design and development f35 took 40 billion dollars for design and development but interestingly the 6th uh, generation fighter that the us wants to produce sir sure. uh, you know how much money they have earmarked initially 1.66 billion dollars 1.66 yes so uh, i won't say that the government of india has uh, given less and if you see the tejas ka developmental cost is just about 1.2 to 1.5 billion dollars so uh, actually you know sometimes these figures actually mislead us it is not the initial part of the budget it is the surety that the budget will not be constrained for the development which is more important and secondly the timelines uh it took Uh, almost 20 years for the F35 development when americans had the uh, experience of developing and producing F22 the uh, the sixth generation was sanctioned in 2014 okay sir it started in 2014 today is 2024 first prototype flew in 2022 nobody knows about it. it was very little publicity was given unlike china 8 years later 8 8 9 years later 8 9 years later sir. so if you see the track record of other countries the j20 uh, took 11 years 9 to 11 years that is when they had uh, you know delved into complete cyber espionage they had got the blueprints of the f35 and f22 those so spinal lockheed martin yes so with that kind and with the kind of the close control the government or the ccp exercises on the aviation industry yes sir they got it in 11 years we amka is supposed to fly in around 2030 or so 2030 and produce productionize in 2035 that means we are 11 years from now or 10 years now 10 years from now with absolutely no experience of 
a fifth generation fighter with all stealth technologies and critical technologies and most importantly uh, is integration of these technologies when you get diverse technologies the biggest risk is integration in fact i recently read uh, an article on the uh, sixth generation fighter that the british italians and japanese are making so sure. they are again the they they started about 5 years back 4 years back they have said it will be extremely difficult to meet the deadline of 2035 because they have to learn from the mistakes of typhoon which was made 20 years back so if a, if if the nations with such developed aerospace industry are saying that the risks are so high and that we are going to take so much time i think uh, we must look at those risks and factor those risks in i am very sure that air force would be completely integrated into amca development so as we go along uh, there is an organization called uh, uh, aircraft development establishment and the national uh, flight test center uh, which is again with the drdo but manned by mostly uh, indian air force pilots test pilots and all so uh, i am sure air force would be integrated into this development of mk sure but the timelines are really really optimistic so the two things that are required are one is surety that the budget would continue to flow in sir so, second that is the easiest part sir second i'm sure the government is yeah. right here second we must be very clear about the technologies that we don't have and we, we are reliant on others third is the engine part of it how quickly the g414 gets gets in how quickly we are able to finalize an agreement with whichever engine manufacturer in the world to co develop and co produce the engine for amka sure and lastly we must i think it is my personal uh, it is a personal opinion we must get a fifth generation at least two squadrons to three squadrons of fifth generation aircraft fighter aircraft which will help the entire ecosystem absorb the technologies be able to learn from it and be able to actually use it when it actually is available